Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. In previous video, we saw about how to create a custom block type and how to create a block under that custom block type and how we can assign that block in the region, right? So this video, we are going to see about how to move the configuration from one environment to another manually, not by any dash command or, or anything else, okay? So let's see how we can move the configuration from one environment to another manually, okay? So before that, I'll... Uh, showcase the two website and this website contains the custom block type which we created in the previous video so the uh, can the block type is uh, d4 drupal and this is the another instance so this will not have that uh, block type it will have only the basic block which is coming from the code so let me tell you how to move the configuration from this to there for that, first you have to move to configuration development synchronization export in the uh, developed version and single item. And you have to navigate to the import page in the uh, another instance. Here you have to click on single item. And here, first we need to move the block type, right? So for that, you have to select your custom block type. And the name should be uh, D4 Drupal, which we created. So here we are getting the configuration OML value data. So we have to manually import this in the another instance. So here you have to select what category this YML is belongs to. This category, this YML is belongs to the custom block type. And you have to copy the YML data and you have to paste it here. So after that, you have to import here. So confirm. So the configuration is imported successfully now, okay? So the next one is, uh, once you imported the configuration, when you go and uh, reload here, you can see there is a new content uh, block type is created here. When you click on the manage field, there won't be any fields. So we need to move the body field next. So body field is, uh, the field which will create when you uh, create any content type or any block type. So, uh, which means that Drupal will use the same field storage for body for all the body fields which is given by the Drupal. So, now we have to move only the field setting, not for the field storage of the body field. Okay. So, for that, what you have to do, you have to select field in, under the uh, configuration type. And here you have to select the block content d4 drupal body field okay this is the field which we, we have to move so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it here so for that i have to mention the configuration type as field and the value and import so once you import it when you go and reload here you can see the body field is created here automatically okay so the next one is, uh, next one when you go and see here, the next field is a field link, okay? So this is the field which we created by ourselves. So it will have a two OMLs. Uh, one is storage and one is a field settings. So we have to move both separately. So you should not import field setting before uh, field storage is imported. So because field is uh, field setting OML is dependent on the field storage setting. So first you have to move the field storage OML from this environment to that. After that you have to input the field settings. Okay. So first what I'm going to do, I'm going to move the field storage. So for that you have to select storage in here. It's a block content uh, field link. Okay. So I'm going to copy this. It's a field storage, and you can see the name as field dot storage dot block content dot field link. Okay, so that is the YML name. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to import the field storage. So I'm going to import the field storage. Confirm. So once you import it. I imported the field storage for the field link. But when you go and refresh here, you cannot see the field because we didn't import the field setting. We just imported only the storage 
of the field. Okay, so for that, what you have to do, you have to import the field for the field link. Okay, so field. And here you have to select block content default repel field link. As I already mentioned, uh, this is dependent on the storage fields, right? So you can notice the dependency. Dependency config of field storage, field content field. Okay, this is a different OML for this OML. So you have to import this before uh, this OML is imported to your another instance. Okay. So now I have to import the field. So here I have to paste it here. And I'm going to import. Confirm. So now you can notice that this is imported successfully. So when you refresh now, you can see the link field here. Okay. And now we imported both fields. You have to navigate to the manage form display. And here you can notice uh, this is the settings which is coming by Drupal. When you create a field, it will automatically load the manage form display by itself. So uh, we need to use exactly what it is in the development version. So what we have to do for that, you have to uh, you have to click on entity form display, which is manage form display. And here you can you have to mention that it's for blog content default Drupal default. So after that you have to copy this uh, YML data. Um, here you have to mention the entity form display and paste the code and input it. Okay. So now the configuration imported successfully. Here you can notice that only block description is enabled, but we imported the dev version. So let's see how it is now. So now it is changed as like the dev version. Okay. So the next one is managed display. So manage display doesn't has anything. So let's see how it is in the development version. So development version has two fields, right? So let's move this YML also. Okay. So here you have to mention the entity view display and entity view display for the block content default grouper. So you have to copy this and you have to paste it in the new version it's entity view display and you have to paste the code here and you have to import it so once you import and when you go here and refresh so you can notice there is a two fields right so this is how we have to import all your uh, block type configuration from dev to stage or wherever so uh, this is we have done by manually. So basically we have we will be doing this with a brush command. I will tell you how to do this in upcoming uh, video. So till now we have completed, right? So next one is we have to move the block layout settings, right? So In the sidebar, we are saying the block, right? The block which we created. So this is the block which we created, right? So let's move this block layout from this environment to another, okay? So let's see how to do that. For that, you have to click on the block category. So under block category, you have to mention the session, or session about custom block type, okay? This is what we have to move from the dev to the Another instance, stage or anywhere. So here I'm mentioning the configuration type as a block. And here this is the value and I'm importing it. So, um, so this is also imported successfully. So when you go on to the block layout and see the sidebar, so this is imported successfully here, right? So let's see how it is going to print in the printer. So see, this is what it is printing. It's saying that the this block is broken or missing. You may be uh, missing the content or you might need to enable the original model. So which means what it is saying is that, so we just imported the block layout configuration from development to the uh, stage, okay?
So we didn't import the content of the block, which means that uh, we didn't import the block content. We just imported only the block layout configuration. So which means what it what I'm saying is that when you go to the uh, block layout custom block library, so here you can see there is no custom block is created. But when you go to the um, same page on this website, so you can notice there is a one content created. Okay. So you cannot move this content from one environment to another environment because it's a content entity. So uh, to be simple, when you edit it, you can notice that in URL, it has a key as a number, okay? So number represents always as a content entity. So you cannot move the content entity. You have to manually create this entity from one environment to another environment. But what it will happen is that when you manually create this content from content in the uh, updated version or any other version and you are moving the layout alone means what problem it will cause is that it will cause the same issue the broken uh, missing content there so you can manually create but it will not use the same uuid which means here we exported right so it is pointing to some uuid okay so this is what uuid so this is what the UID of the block content which we created in your version. So when you create manually new uh, content here in this uh, new instance, it will not use the same UID. The UID will be the difference, but the layout settings will have this UID. Since both UID is not matching the same error, it will throw us a, a broken missing. So how it is showing. So we can do this efficiently by using the migration. We have a migration a feature in Drupal. So we can use UAD in the migration or migration importing. So when you import the uh, content by using the migration, we can use UAD also, also in storage data. And you can import your content from dev to wherever, wherever uh, by using CSV or XLS, whatever the file, you can use it and import it in your instance. So when the multiple instance uses same UID, that time this error will not occur because always YML values contains UID as a reference. It will not contain a node ID or content ID or block ID or any other numbers as a reference okay so we have to do it by using the uuid of a, a content so by we can achieve it by using the migration okay so we can do that by migration uh, we will be seeing how we can do migration in the upcoming, upcoming videos so and that's it about today's video hope everyone likes it i'm sanya i'm drupal trainer and uh, tech lead I'm from uh, Prayer Labs, so you can find my information here. And if you like the video, please uh, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.